As you can see so far, I've made quite a run. One of my first runs of this new BR program, and we are 10-0 with Shohei Otani on the line, Byron Buxton as well. But the big reason why going 12-0 is super important is because of this new BR program, and you instantly will get the flawless reward for going 12-0. Jorge Posada, Ken Griffey Jr., and Vita Blue all on the line. They're all about 200k. Jorge seems to be the most expensive, but all very, very comparable. And Jorge would be great on my all-time Yankees team, but this price is going to go down for sure. So I'm trying to go 12-0 and sell any of these guys for 200k, and then we'll probably work up to another one as well. Because going 12-0, you get 20. So I'm going to be very, very close if I'm able to do that. Uh, we have two games to play, hopefully. Two wins. I played two games to warm up. I forced two rage quits uh, before I even made an out. This guy turned off his console, uh, and this guy has not responded to my GGs. Hopefully, we can play well enough to secure Shohei Otani, to secure the first of two 12 0 packs. This is the team Alex Hall, Reggie Jackson, Brian Reynolds, Matt Olson, Randy Rosarena, Tyler O'Neill, Carlos Correa. Mike Moustak is playing up big against righties. No quirks. Will Myers, good numbers against lefties. Uh, this team's brought me far. The bench is okay. The pitching's pretty good. Not amazing. Not terrible. I need to win two games. 2-0. Two oh, come on. The thing is, I don't even know if I'm playing that well, though. Usually, I would play a little bit more to warm up. I was in events, as I mentioned. Uh, I really have only taken, like, three or four swings, and they went pretty well. So, I'm hoping that continues to be the case. As always in BR, the toughest part is about getting outs pitching, but I think we should be able to hit well enough. I've struggled for the last couple days. Let's hope that I'm over that. Okay, here we go. We're playing a three-character gamertag X6X. Rafael Montero on the mound. His team is pretty good at the top, not amazing at the bottom. I would believe that the pitching is probably really good as a result. And the flawless 12-0 badge. And he hasn't lost a game of ranked seasons. Not who you want. That's a bad start. This is a really, that's a really bad draw here uh, in the 10-0 game. Real bad. Oh, that's got to be strike three. You're killing me, game. Please don't turn on this. We just took it. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, this is going to be, it's going to be a tough matchup. Oh, we got a swing, though. Will Myers, I need you to make a play. All right, two outs. If we can hold him to zero runs here in the first inning, I think we have a really, really good chance. But obviously, that's going to be easier said than done. Because this could be, even with two outs, this could end up being like five, six runs in the blink of an eye. Right, Sue. So Joey Manessis off the bench. Let's hope we can uh, get him swinging here. That was the pitch. I need an out on that. Chases a slider off the plate. He probably thinks I won't go back to it, but I am going to go back to it. And we got him. All right. Big swing. What he's expecting there, why the swing is so bad, is he's expecting me to go back to the sinker in against a righty and catch him looking. So he was really, really trying to protect that. And I have to have phenomenal at bats. Because versus a player like this, especially at this field, I need, I need like... 15 runs to feel comfortable, which sounds insane, but not in BR and not at this ballpark. This is a little league field. That's a good swing. I needed one of those. I needed something to just like get my confidence up here at the plate. A double's a real good way to start. I'm not going to push three. Buxton's got a good arm in center and uh, only one out. There really isn't a point. And, you know, they say don't make the first or third out at third base, but you really shouldn't make any. Just Play it safe. He intentionally walks Brian Reynolds to get to Matt Olson. He's going to go lefty-lefty. Randy Rosarena and Tyler O'Neill are coming up following Matt Olson, though. He's actually going to go Shohei. Why intentionally walk Brian Reynolds there? I am confused. Shohei's very, very good. He's very tough to face. Uh, not who I wanted here. Like, you can see his per nines are unbelievable. 107 hit per nine. 103K per nine. Uh, I, I need not to ground out into a double play here. But a strikeout would also not be good. I need I need to just get on one. And I struck out. I mean, it's didn't expect the curveball. That was a terrible A-B. And that was the pitch. Just early on that. 
can guarantee you I'm not getting that again. It's going to be like a cutter away. I have to stay back. Splitter. All right. See, like, look how small my PCI, man. Like, it's just, it's going to be so tough to square anything up. And I struck out. I mean, that's a great spot. Yeah, as I said, this game's going to be hell. Going to be hell. I need to continue to pitch well. That's the pitch he was waiting on earlier. Uh, I thought he would still have the slider in his mind. Uh, but no. I might have actually had him with a good throw. Would have been close. Ah, uh, that's why. He can bring in Shohei Otani off the bench. Well, I like lefty-lefty enough against Shohei. I think he's probably just going to take this pitch. Guy's got a very, very good eye. This is predictable, but I'm going to try to just get it off the plate. Exactly what we do. Shohei goes down. We're pitching well. I mean, I, I feel like I swung the bat okay in that uh that last inning. Just didn't amount to any runs. This one's a tough spot for me. I am considering an intentional walk. I think I'm going to go to Adovino, though. Let's feel a little bit more comfortable righty-righty. If he wants to counter with a lefty, that's fine. Uh, but I'm comfortable wasting pretty much my entire bullpen against what I consider to be a very, very good opponent. And one pitch, one out. That was absolutely huge. That means Adovino can come out for the third. I have Erasmo Ramirez if I need him. I'd love to save him, but against a player like this, you really cannot afford to save anybody. You have to get those runs when you can. Um, and get those outs when you can, of course, when I'm pitching. He's loving to go to this slide step back to back. But it really does hurt your control when you do that. Run into one. Oh, that was the pitch. Oh, it's going to get through. It's not a terrible swing. 106 off the bat. And I think that's Brendan Rodgers at short who doesn't play a great shortstop. Second baseman in real life. We could take advantage of that. Just design ground balls at Brendan Rodgers. I don't think I'm that good. 3-0 to Carlos Correa. Moose is up next. I would be surprised if he left in Shohei Otani for Mike Moustakis. I was taking all the way there. I'm just fighting for another base runner right now. And that was the pitch. I'm all over it. I just, I can't sit back because I'm worried about 102, 103 from Otani. It's a good swing. I need that to get down. Please. Buxton's going to cover infinite ground out there in center. This guy's got a really good team. Let's see if he leaves in Correa, or excuse me, uh, Otani to face Moose. He did, and he's going to pay dearly. Moose deep to center. This one not coming back over the batter's eye. Mike Moustakis puts us on the board. Two-run bomb to dead straight away. Center field. We needed that. Needed that badly. We are on the board. Oh, that was almost another one. I'm just early. Or early. Uh, Otani seems to have infinite stamina in this game, by the way. That was a good pitch. I, I felt like I had to swing. Um, I should have just taken it, though. But, yeah. Otani, he just doesn't get tired. Even on the closer card, doesn't get tired. I faced him a couple times. Full count. Reggie up next. This is the pitch. Yeah, I knew we were going to get a challenge fastball. I did nothing with it because I suck. God! Only two runs. Real bad. But we, we can expect this guy is going to hit like crazy in the top of the third. I need to limit it. If I can keep it just tied at 2-2, I think uh, we're going to win it in the bottom of the third. If not, it's going to be extremely challenging. Down the middle. Moose! MVP! Make a play! I need a little bit more urgency than that, Moose. I need a little bit more urgency. Huge hit in this game, and that's a great defensive play to get the first out of the inning. And I give him pitch to hit here. I don't think he's going to be ready to turn. Yep, too late. Waiting for the off-speed away. Here it is. Now he's early. Got him right where we want him. We just got to finish. Got to finish the AB. He's going to pause me out. It means more to this guy. Classic Aggie move here. Hook him, by the way. Playing an A&M guy. Um, yeah, I guess down 0-2 in the count here. and We got to pause it. I really hope I beat this guy now. I know it's like, oh, why are you mad? He's just pausing it, dude. This is designed. This is designed to waste my time. He thinks he's going to lose. And um, he's like, this will show him. As long as I get the win, pause it for the entire time. I do not care. Please. Yeah, perfect, perfect out. Deserved. Good. 
One away. Or what? one away from winning. Two away in the inning. And we got a fly out. O'Neal, please, Tyler. And that's the third out of the inning. Big win. I only two nothing here. I, I said I might need 15. I only needed two. Pitched great. I had great pitching. We took full advantage. We got this guy out of his approach. He felt patient at first and then uh, completely just kept swinging away. That was an absolutely massive game for us. 11 and 0. I need one more. One more. All my starters are good to go. I, I mean, I have a decent bullpen. 95 Gregory Soto. I just feel like with this connection, I feel like I'm on the road. All right, here we go. Playing Mackie Smat. The Boston Celtics here. Uh, very good team. Very, very good team. He's even got the Franimal in there in the nine hole. So I'm, I'm worried this guy probably knows what he's doing. A lot of power. Probably a good player. I hate to hear and, and see that. That sounds like bad stuff. I don't like the averages. I don't like them. 542, and then Hall 344, Logan Wade 550. I would prefer something in the 200s, uh, ideally. So, that sucks. Ooh, the bunt show as well? I'm fucked, dude. I will say, though, what are the odds of playing a Texas A&M fan? Oh, no. When I'm a Texas Longhorns fan. And then a Red Sox fan when I'm a Yankees fan. It's really setting the scene nice. I've, I've, of course, mentioned why that's the case a million times. I live in Texas now, but I grew up on the East Coast and uh, a lot of family in Texas. I don't love the start of this game, though. Don't love it. That's a two-run home run. I'm, dude, uh, why? Why did I have to get somebody competent? And their entire lineup, I feel like, is lefties or switch hitters. Um... Yeah, I mean, really unfortunate start to the game. Not really much else I can say. And they're so patient as well. I mean, this is a, this is a disaster. Plain and simple. That's good. That's Is Tyler O'Neal going to get to this? Please, Tyler! All right, thank you. Um, If I can limit it to two, I maybe we're okay. That's going to be a double at least. Uh, please stay in the park. Maybe I can get an out. Yeah, I mean, this. I, Charlie Morton's got to get out of here. But, I don't know. I, I'd like to get through another batter. He's not in a terrible spot. I just have to make better pitches, maybe. Or definitely. That's right down the middle. He, he's got to come out. That's another double. I'm going to be down 4 nothing. He can't face... Even Alex Verdugo, I just can't can't face. I'm getting destroyed. At least we're out of it, though. Down four. I have been here before. It's just, usually, as Duvall's pretty good, usually I feel a little bit better at the plate, which was not the case last game. What does this bullpen have in store for me? Duque Hebert, or Hebert, Hobie Milner, who I don't like facing, Braxton Garrett. TJ Antone, maybe I saw two. It's not amazing, and that's a great start. I needed one. I needed something to get me back in it. That's a good swing. 4-1. Got to score four more, minimum. Oh, that, would, that was the pitch. Reggie, get out. That's two. Okay. We came to play today, at least a little bit. That's two. Give me a base hit. All right, a little bit on top of that with Brian Reynolds, but that's all right. I think he's probably going to take Duvall out of the game, which would be good. Waste the bullpen early. Three batter minimum. We're probably going to face Hobie Milner here. He's going to leave Duvall in. Got to take advantage of this. I need to tie it up. I can't, dude. Oh, that's so unlucky. It's a sinker up and away. I get up and away, and I overshoot the ball and ground out into a double play. You know, there have been a lot of BR runs this year, and I, I feel like uh, I've had some really good runs ended by multiple double play games, which is super unfortunate. Good smack with Randy there. But I have grounded out. I think I might have been like 7 or 8 no, and I grounded out into double plays in the first and second innings. Um... Yeah, hoping that this is not going to be one of those games. 
That'd be real bad for me. Here's Duque. I need to be ready for that sinker in. Uh, doesn't throw that hard, though. We just got to be patient. There it is. Tyler O'Neill. That could be three. Joey Gallo does not run well in center field. It's going to be back-to-back -back triples. O'Neill can absolutely fly. Back-to-back -back triples. Awesome. All right. I needed to get Randy in. We couldn't let the triple go to waste. And uh, I would actually prefer another one. I missed it. I mean, well, I didn't miss it. I'm all over it, but I'm just late. Joey Gallo doesn't run well, though, and he got to it. All right, uh, not enough, but at least we're only down one now. But that was not enough runs. Why is Franmil up a ton today? Why is he looking like the best diamond in the game? Has to be a glitch. He looks all right. That was a meatball. Myers doesn't even move his body to it, just dives from his spot. Uh, it's a single. Let's turn two. How do you take that one, two? How? Please roll over. Don't sit back on it. There we go. I'll, I'll take that. We gotta keep this 4-3. Have to. He's being very patient. This is gonna go 3-0, probably. Nope, okay. That's a big strike. Took that one, though. And I think that was honestly a tougher pitch to take. Just keep him in the yard. That's right down the middle. We kept him in the yard, though. O'Neal's gonna get to that. Very reminiscent of my flyout to Joey Gallo to end that inning. If I was just good timing on it instead of late, uh, I don't think Joey Gallo makes a play on it. But unfortunately, Will Myers, nice play. Uh, but as I say, you know, if, if the queen had ball, she'd be king. We gotta... We can't live in a world of what ifs. We just have to go out there and get it done. Holding him to only one run, though, or no runs in that inning was huge, as I'm just under it with Moose. Gallo's going to get to that. They shifted over accordingly. That was a pitch I really couldn't afford to miss, and I missed it. This is a player I feel like I can hit, though, which is nice. Right down the middle. I mean, I, you can't. Jeez. Oh, and I did that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, I'm really wasting this, huh? I'm 11-0. I got to figure it out. 4-4. Four, four. I feel it. I feel 4-4. Four, four. Got to go out there and do it. I'd love to tie this up. Not swinging at that 2-0, though. Did I get it? I need a little bit of luck. Carry. I don't think it's going to. I'm underneath it. Oh, it's off the wall, though. He can't pick it up. I'm staying 2. I had 3, but I'm staying 2. Even with... Nobody really covering. I have to stay, too. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get lefty-lefty here. I can't miss. I'm probably going to take the first pitch unless it's a meatball. I don't like facing this dude. Hobie Milner. I faced him a couple times. Doesn't throw that hard. He's a little herky-jerky. I don't care for it. I need a meatball or I'm not swinging. That's a meatball. Reggie Jackson, Apo Taco, Little League Field. Please, stretch. Get past him. Let's go. It's off the wall and we're tied. Little League field, max elevation luck. We're both playing here, by the way. I want to make that known. We're both playing here. Right? So it's not just fortunate for me. I, I know take three on that. It's not worth it because the base hit probably scores him anyway. I'm not making it out at third here with Brian Reynolds. Or with Brian Reynolds up. Matt Olsen up next. He might just be playing for the walk to get lefty-lefty. It's exactly what happened. But it is another base runner. For Matt Olson to hopefully drive in. I just need to not be too crazy. Just wait on a pitch. Mm, I would have been late. I would have been late. There it is. Get down, ball. Get down. That's going to score a run. Gallo's got a big time arm, though. I might be hosed at the plate here. Here's a throw. Other side of the line. And we've taken the lead. I was slightly up the first base line, even though it was obviously right there. Um, big run. And he's going to go to TJ Antone. Now, I have Randy Arozarena up here. Does not really hit righties especially well, despite a triple earlier. And he doesn't play great defense in left. Or he's my DH, so I can just really go to anybody here. Um, what do we want to do? I need somebody with high clutch, because that's going to affect the contact. For some reason, it's not Randy. It's not anybody. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have the pinch hitter for this spot. I just need TJ Antone to suck. He really doesn't have much of a bullpen left. He's warming up a starter, Kyle Wright, and Braxton Garrett if he needs a lefty. 
and I did that. I, I knew what I was going to get, and I just I waited on it, hesitated, and then I'm late. We do have the lead, though. Five to four. I got to waste the bullpen. He's got guys that really kill lefties, even Gallo. Gallo hits lefties better than righties. But do I leave Gregory Soto in is the question. I'm going to try to get through Jorge Polanco, and then I'd, I'd probably go to Erasmo. Garrett Whitlock is a decent option. I don't know, man. This is the game if I can figure out how to pitch. And he's going to be patient. Going to be patient. And Soto's tired. I really should pull him. But I, I think I can get through Jorge Polanco and then go to a righty. Instead of getting the uh, switch hitter matchup. I don't know. It's a tough call. That's a strike. I mean, that's just what a strike is. He's in the red stamina. I got to pull him, dude. I knew he was going to take all the way there. What do I go to to get him here? I'm going to go cut her away and just hope he mistimes it. Struck him out. Huge pitch from Erasmo, the eraser, Ramirez. Oh, that was like the pitch of the game right there. Right down the middle. He wasn't ready for it, though. I don't think I can get with that or to that with Reggie. Not even going to run. Got a pop-up. He's not ready for the sinker. Matt Olsen underneath it. That's two away. One more out. One more out. It's going to be against Joey Gallo. He hits lefties better than he does righties. I think I just have to pitch around the middle of the plate and hope he gets underneath it. Line drive at O'Neal. That's the 12. 12 and 0, number two of the year for me. Uh, and those were not easy games, as you guys saw. It didn't score a whole ton of runs, but those were not easy games. We persevered. We got it done after going down 4-0 in the first. Absolutely massive. Home runs for the first two batters in my order. It really just lit a fire under us, sparked the rally that would end up leading to a win. 12-0. and Love to see it. Second one of the year, you know, it's it's nice. These are not easy to get, and uh, this one feels especially good because Shohei Otani is on the line. It's 150K. That's the 12-0 pack uh, that, well, there's a lot of stuff here. 12-0 uh, pack that guarantees us one of these 99 overall, 200K diamonds, essentially. Ken Griffey Jr., my second favorite player of all time. Uh, loved watching him. Jorge Posada, Vita Blue. Uh, we're going to take Griffey, though, man. Griffey's a beast. And maybe we can sell him for 214K before that price comes down. I'll take that. 99 Griffey. I haven't used any of these other guys yet. Probably going to go ahead and do that. Um... Because I was still trying to complete the parallel XP on the first guys. That's how new this draft was. So I haven't used anybody new in this BR program other than the guys that were actually on the team. Gregory Soto. Here's Shlomo Lipic. Uh, we'll end with him. Fall in his gold pack. He suck. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the 12-0. Currently at 76 points. And uh, chasing down another 200k here shortly. Live tonight, probably on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bangle. Reds franchise tomorrow, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.